An increasing number of countries around the world are banning the use of Wi-Fi in schools. Questions over the safety of long-term exposure to wireless technology have parents here worried as well. 13-year-old Georgia Pizzo loved school, but it was making her very sick. Well, it started out as just little pains in my head, but then towards the end it got really bad headaches and, you know, I started to feel unwell, just tired. Georgia was diagnosed with Wi-Fi sensitivity after exposure to electromagnetic radiation from a router in her classroom. I'd rather be at home and do my schooling from home and be healthy, you know, instead of being at school and not being healthy. Around the world, concern is growing about the health risks of Wi-Fi radiation on children. In 2011, the World Health Organization called it a possible cancer-causing agent. Since then, France has legislated to discourage Wi-Fi in schools. Germany, Austria and Israel recommend only cabled computers. The concerns with radio frequencies or wireless technology are things that children may exhibit headaches, dizziness, fatigue, sleep disturbance is a big one. One South Australian primary school didn't want to endanger students, so it went Wi-Fi free. If we can still provide the children with technology using wires, why not? Why take the risk? The biggest thing is that there's not enough evidence um, that Wi-Fi is completely safe. Studies show children's brains can absorb up to three times as much radiation as adults. While the levels they're exposed to in classrooms are low, there is no conclusive evidence on long-term health risks. The Education Department says it follows world guidelines on Wi-Fi and advises schools to limit children's exposure. Pippa Gardner, 7 News.